Hello once again, uh, welcome to the Walters of Stanton video channel. My name is Peter Walters, G3OJV, and this time we're going to talk about a product. The product is the Ellicraft T1A Tiny Automatic Antenna Tuning Unit. But before we go into that, um, the previous video I talked about 2 meter SSB, and that was actually um, the day that the RSGB uh, 2 meter contest was on, and I did actually participate that evening on 2 meters. Um, and I, when I say participate, <laughs> I mean I was there and I had around about 14 or 15 contacts uh, with my um, makeshift 2 meter station and my little uh, five element Yagi at about 15 foot above ground. Um, Typically, distances were around about 50 miles, 90 miles was about the maximum. Several stations at 90 miles, but beyond that, uh, I think the Yagi, having just five elements and only 15 foot above ground, was, was struggling a bit. But anyway, I did take part, <laughs> and if you work me, um, you're very lucky because there weren't many people that worked me, or rather the, the other way around, I didn't work that many people. Anyway, there we are. Right, the Ellicraft T1A Automatic Antenna Tuning Unit. It's a 20 watt um, device, so it's very much aimed at the QRP market, but it's quite a powerful little product. It's been around for a long while, but the reason I'm mentioning it now is because it's going to be ideal for the IC705, and I, I know it hasn't arrived yet, uh, but uh, we are assured that it will arrive someday well, I was going to say soon, but I think I should just say it's going to arrive someday. Anyway, the T1A, I have used it myself in the past, but it's a very powerful little ATU. It matches virtually anything. And uh, it runs off of a little um, PP3 uh, battery. In fact, I've, I'm going to show you a video on it in a minute of uh, the, base, the basics of it. And uh, uh, in use, actually, and in use as well. Uh, because now the uh, sun's out, so I can get out in the garden again. So it's a very interesting product. So why don't I go out? First, no, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the basic product and just show you it in action, and then we're going to go in the garden and try it out in the garden. So let's go. Well, this is the basic uh, T1A uh, in a small plastic box that's small enough to fit into your pocket. Uh, the connectors are a pair of BNC sockets and a uh, screw terminal. On the back of the T1A is the battery compartment. Slide the back cover off there and you insert a uh, PP3 battery. More about that uh, later. Now here's a close-up of the connection panel. That centre terminal is the earth terminal. On the left-hand side is the antenna connection, and on the right-hand side is the connection back to your transceiver. If you're going to use an NFED wire, here's a little adapter for the earth and antenna. That adapter is an option extra. Using a K2 here, I'm going to connect the cable um, to the K2, that's the little adapter I mentioned just now, and the output of the K2 goes into the transceiver input on the T1A. Now for the purpose of this demonstration I'm using a little 40 meter telescopic whip mounted on the T1A. Now we press the tune button, um, inject some power, it tunes and we've got a 1 to 1 SWR. Press the button again to check the power and it indicates uh, one watt out. Now I've got to detune the antenna by telescoping it in a bit, so it's not a very nice match now. So press the button in again, wait for it to flash, press the tune button, and again it's matched it one to one. Take the power off, just take the button again, power on, we've got one watt. Right now the uh, power is turned down to 200 milliwatts, see what happens, press the button in there, flashes, 
And there we are, tuning 200 milliwatts. So let's now go out into the garden and uh, check it with uh, an outside antenna. Now I'll set the uh, K2 radio and the T1A tuner on a garden chair here. Um, out in the garden, sun shines out, so it's, uh, it's quite pleasant. The antenna, <laughs> it's... Uh, it's a wire just um, draped over the grass and up to a convenient tree um, with the other side um, just lying on the ground as a sort of a counterpoise. It's a worst case scenario, but it's a great test for the T1A. Now we set it up on 40 metres, uh, hold the tune button in, press transmit. And I turned the audio up there so you could hear it. You could hear it tuning. And there we are. We've got uh, one to one on 40 metres with a pretty ropey antenna. Right now, I'll switch to 14 megahertz. We're going close there. Have a look. And we press the tune button. Uh, then we press the transmit button. And I turned the volume up again there so you could hear the. Uh, uh, the tuner um, doing its uh, work and again one to one and finally let's try 18 megahertz press the tune button again go to transmit tuned and one to one while I had everything set up I thought I would try 80 meters I didn't hold out much hope with 20 foot of wire um, and although it tried to tune it and it struggled it didn't actually manage to tune it but I, although I didn't film it here, I did add another 15 foot of wire, making it, well, 35 foot of wire. Uh, and it did actually tune it. So, but I think 20 foot of wire on 80 metres is really pushing it a bit, <laughs> a bit too far. But I thought I'd give it a try anyway. So there we are. That's the um, Ellicraft T1A. Um, it certainly does what it uh, says it should do. And I can imagine this being very useful um, for portable operation. As I say, the only, uh, the only band it really failed on was 80 metres, but 20 foot of wire on 80 metres is pushing it a bit. And the ground plane I had was <laughs> just a, a bit of wire on the lawn here, um, no more than about 15 foot long, so that was a pretty, pretty cruel, um, cruel test. But uh, I can certainly see the attraction. And really and truly, um, this um, will replace any ATU you might have inside the rig and in fact you've got a rig without an ATU then this will do the job um, it's it works on the um, on PP3 battery which I think you saw me put in at the uh, earlier in the video the good thing about this is that the relays are latching um, and it only uses battery power when it's tuning as soon as it stops tuning the battery power is is virtually zero there's no current drawn so it's very economical the only time you're drawing current is when it's tuning the batteries now my experience of one of these is the battery lasts for ages um, it could probably last all summer i think depends how much transmission you do but it's um, it's very um uh, very economical um apologies by the way if there's any wind noise on the uh, mic here because i'm using the mic on the camera and uh uh, although I've got uh, a fluffy watsit on there, <laughs> dead cat or what they call it, <laughs> um, I'm sure you'll get a bit of wind noise, but there we are. So, let's uh, go inside and uh, wrap this one up, shall we? Well, I was quite impressed with the <laughs> T1A, it's quite uh, an amazing little device. Uh, one other trick that I should have, um, well I couldn't show you outside because you wouldn't have seen it, but another trick is that um, it can tell you all sorts of things like um, what the SWR is, um, what the true SWR is, what the voltage of the battery is, what the inductance is and so forth. And it does it by sending CW, but it sends CW rather like sort of semi if you like, um, with uh, dots and dashes. So if I hold this button in here to switch it on and then hold this other button here for a, a second, it will start to send data to me. So I'll press that now. Hold that in, and now it's sending CW. It, it takes a bit of a, 
a bit of working out what it's sending. Um, I'm not too sure on that. It, it does work. I've followed it through, but um, uh, it's a sort of thing that perhaps you want to um, uh, try out um, uh, sitting in a uh, armchair with a cup of coffee. Uh, but it certainly uh, it does uh, does do what it says. Uh, there's one or two other things it does, but basically it's a great um, little ATU, and I'm really impressed with it. I have used it myself in the past, but I haven't actually revisited it for some while. So yeah, the um, Ellicraft T1A. So I hope you found that useful. Oh, by the way, um, I should, I think I may have mentioned this. It's going to be great for the IC705, because um, the IC705 doesn't have an internal ATU, which is rather a shame. But um, on the other hand, put that in your pocket and uh, all your antenna matching problems go away. There we are. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, uh, thank you for watching and thank you for your support on the other videos. Um, I, I'd like to say hello to all those guys in the States and all over the world that have sent me emails and so forth. Nice to hear from you. And as I've explained before, I can't answer all the comments because I'm a one man band in terms of the the um, uh, YouTube video uh, channel. It's just me. <laughs> Here we are. But thanks for watching. Um, enjoy your ham radio, keep safe, and uh, see you again shortly.